Hello viewers, uh, welcome back to this uh, course on scientific computing using MATLAB. So this is the third lecture. So in the previous two lectures, we have started with the basics of the MATLAB and now today we will talk about that how, because in the previous uh, lectures, uh, we have done the numerical computation in the MATLAB. Today we will talk about that how we can do the symbolic computation in the MATLAB. So let us to start with the MATLAB. So today we will Today we will talk about the symbolic computation. So symbolic computation means that now we can define the variable as we usually do whenever we are doing the analysis or, or in the mathematics books. For example, I define, so this is the symbolic computation, I will define, so SYM means the symbolic So help seems. So it gives you that the seems is a shortcut of constructing symbolic variable. Now I am defining that my variable x is a symbolic. Okay. So similarly, I can define the different variables like this one here. So I can define. So I have defined the variable x. Now suppose I write y is equal to x square. So this is another variable, and this variable is also in the symbolic form. Symbolic means y is equal to x square because we know that in the mathematics we always write y is equal to x square is a function, y is equal to sin x is a function. Suppose I define y is equal to sin x is a another function. Now if I want to check that what is this? So it is given that f is a 1 cross 1 size function, bytes is 1 1 2 and class is symbolic. In the previous it was showing the double because it is the numeric value. So it is the that is why it is showing that it is given in the double form uh, bytes. So x is also the symbolic with the 112 bytes, y is also the symbolic. Now suppose I want to define that uh, just I want to find the SOL we solve. I want to solve this quadratic equation suppose I want to solve x square minus 1 and this is equal to 0. So that gives you the answer. So it shows solve this equation x square minus 1 equal to 0 symbolically and I get the answer minus 1 and 1. Suppose I want to define another equation x square minus 2 star x plus 1. So this is the equation I have defined and I want to solve this one. So that is the roots I am getting that is 1 1. So similarly I can define another equation. I just want to check the complex roots or maybe real roots. So this is the root I am getting. Now <coughs> suppose I define like this. So this is the roots we are getting that is in the third form. This is the minus 1 and minus 2 the repeated roots. Suppose now I define another equation x square minus 4x minus 4. So this is the another roots I am getting 2 minus 2 raised to power 2 minus 2 into 2 raised to power half means under root 2. So that is the value we are getting. Suppose I want to solve another equation like this one, I define the equation like this now <coughs> colon x square is equal to 3 star x minus 5. So this one I write with the semicolon. So that is the answer warning do not specify equation and variable as character string. So that is the answer we are getting in the terms of this one or maybe the same equation I can solve because here I am putting the semicolons but the same equation I can solve by minus here and plus here equal to 0. So this is the equal to 0 we have to write double two times we have to put equal sign and that gives you the solution 
So this you, you can see that the solution these and these are the same because we uh, this was another way we have write, written in which we are using only single uh, equal sign but we are putting the equation in the semicolons. But here we are putting the equation in the in this form with the double equal sign. Now we can define uh, maybe another equation I can uh, write x plus y. So, I define the another variable s s y m seems y. So, y is another variable I have defined. Now, I can take I can show that x plus y multiplied by x minus y and I want to see the answer. So, this that is the answer x plus y into x minus y or I can write this as expand also. So, that is the because I know that x plus y into x minus y can be written as x square minus y square. So, I can write that this whatever the answer we are getting I can expand this one with the help of the command that is expand or maybe now what I can do I can again factor the answer. So, that is the factor we got. So, that is the same one x minus y into x plus y. So, expand means I will expand the answer in the compact form and this is a factor we, we can do the factorization of the given equation. Maybe I can define another function another uh, command like I write simplify. So, I simplify I define the command that x cube minus y cube and then so this is the bracket I have to put divided by x minus y. So, this is the command we have done. So, that gives me the x cube minus y cube divided by x minus y. So, the answer is x square plus x y plus y square. So, using the help of simplify because otherwise if I write the command like this one and do not write the simplify the answer will be this one x cube minus y cube by x minus y. But I want to if I want to simplify then it will cancel out whatever the common term is there and it will give you the answer after cancelling all the common terms. Now, this is the uh, way we can define. Now, I can even plot the functions with the, the using the help of E j plot. So, let us uh, define this plotting. So, now I define help E j plot. So, E j plot you can see that E j plot is easy to use function operator. E j function plots the function x over the default domain. Okay. So, let us uh, use this one. So, I write E j plot suppose I want to plot a circle. So, I define this one between the interval I define. So, I take minus 2 to plus 2. this one so there is a bracket e j plot x square plus y square and then comma we have to put so that is the e j plot so this is the plot it is showing x square plus maybe oh, this is a two dimensional. So, I just define the first dimension only. So, I just write x square plus 2 star x minus 1. So, this is the plot. So, it, this is showing that this is a plot of x square plus 2 x minus 1 or I can define the plot of x square x cube plus x square minus x in the same domain. So, it will give you the plot of that function because sometime we are we want to plot 
want to see the function so we want to plot that function so using this very simple command we can plot any function so what i want to plot instead of this one i want to plot sin x so that gives you the value of the sin x i can change my comma uh, the this domain so i can take from minus 2 pi to 2 pi and that is the function we got so this is the value of the sin x between minus 2 pi to 2 pi so this one we can do maybe we can plot another function sin x multiplied by cos x so this is the value of the uh, plot of the function sin x into cos x and now uh, suppose i take the hold on so hold on this graph so i can define now the same command ej plot is coming now i take another plot and instead of this i take minus 1 so that is the plot we are getting or maybe i can give the name to the figure so i first define the figure 1 and then i give the command hold on so this is the figure 1 and i just hold on and then i plot the graph so that is the plot of the graph then i define the another plot of the graph just sin x so this is the another plot we are getting so that is the sin x and this is the sin x into the cos x using the help of hold on i can hold the same graph in the figure 1 so i have given the name to this plot that is the figure 1 so that one we can do so that is the help of the with the help of eg plot we can plot many functions now we do the some another symbolic calculations because this type of calculation if you see uh, earlier it used to be done in with the help of mathematica or the maple but now this is also possible in the matlab so matlab is being used now widely for both numerical computation as well as the symbolic computation now suppose i take the help and then i write substitutes so it show you that substitute is a symbolic substitution so in this case suppose i have the equation i write substitutes and i write suppose i write x square this is my function and i substitute x 2 here so that gives the value of the 4 so what how it is the how we can define the value of the substitution uh, function substitution so substitution is that this is the function we have and that is the variable which is giving the value 2 and that is the answer we are getting i can define the substitution of x raised to power 3 and so that is the value of 2 raised to power 3 i can define the function sin x and then x i can put maybe pi so that is the value of g i can define pi by 5 so that is the value of the sine function at pi by 5 or i can define the value of the function at pi by 6 that is half so using this one i can substitute the value of the variable in the given function or that is also possible that i define the function first i define the function suppose i define the function x square minus y square so this is my function and now i write substitute ff x is equal to 2 x 2 so this gives you the value of the function that i have the function ff and in that function i put instead of x i put the 
x equal to 2 in the given function. Now I can define the same here and I can write answer and then I put y is equal to maybe 3 and that is a minus 5. So it gives you 4 minus 9 so it is a minus 5. So I can substitute the value of the different different variable in this one. Even I can define this uh, substitutions now with the help of this symbolic computation even I can plot another uh, some something like I can plot e j plot at the rate maybe log x and defining the plot from 0 to 10 suppose I want to plot this function. So, this is the so like this one I have done so I can use here my log x that is the value of the log x we are plotting. Now, maybe I can define the another function. So, this is the pi we can take from here. Now, I want to define the pi by suppose 2 value. So, that is the value we are getting. So, this is pi by 2 we know that this value is 0. So, in this case I am getting the value 0 and that is given by e raise to power minus 70. So, this is the how we can define the little bit of uh, symbolic computation. Then, so let us uh, plot another variable or another function. Suppose I want to plot x square plus x minus 3 and I want this to be done in the interval from 0 to or from minus 2 to 2. So, this is the plot we are getting. Now, I can also define the same way title we have done. So, x label. So, x label will give you. So, this is I just write capital X axis. I can define y label. as y axis and now we can see that this is a function. Even I can because this is giving me the blue color even suppose I want to change the color of this one then maybe I can switch to a dit and then I can see that the figure properties and with the help of the figure properties you can see that I can change the color of this. So, that is the, the function we have this is the graph of the function and it gives you that you suppose I want to change the color of this line. So, I can put it is a black. Now, suppose I want to increase the because this is a very thin layer with the 0.5 line width. So, I can increase the width by 2. So, this is the that it become the bold one or dark one. The marker is there I can even change the color of the marker. So, this is the my function plot function and suppose so this is the way we can take the axis I can take the axis anywhere. Now, suppose this is my y axis I can change the style of this y axis. this one. So, y axis even I can write here like this one I can edit this one later on. So, this is my y axis this is my x axis I can take this one and then I can do the changes. So, this is my title I can move this here even inside the graph I can move this. So, with the help of editing you can edit your uh, plot whatever the plot you are getting and suppose in the later on you want to make some changes 
because in that case you are not going to produce, reproduce the same plot. So, you can do the editing with the help of this edit of the plotting. Now, suppose I have done with, with this plot and I want to save this plot. So, this is the file and we can save, save this as. So, it will ask you that where you want to plot. Suppose I want to plot it in the NPTEL and this is my, so I can write here, I want to plot this one as figure 1. So, figure 1 I want to plot in the, in the name of figure. So, that one is saved now. Suppose I want to use it later on in my paper and the latex or in word file, then I can also save this as, so here we can, these are the different different extension we can save, in, uh, save our figure. So, this is BMP, EPS, JPEG. So, all these different styles we can, because in the latex we generally use the EPS file. So, I can uh, save this function as a EPS. So, this is the function is now saved in your file with the EPS extension and another one is saved in the form of fig function. So, this is different different way we can define the given plot even I can insert suppose I want to insert. So, I want to insert the arrow or the text arrow. So, text arrow means suppose I want, so this is the figure. So, that is the figure and here I can write by inserting the text arrow. Now, here I can write the value of the function. Function is equal to x square plus x minus 3. this is the function I am getting or maybe I can, I do not want to write this function here, maybe I can delete this one or I can move this function, this here, this one. So, that is the plotting and this is the text arrow that is showing that this is because suppose we have a large number of plots in the same plot, we can tell them or classify them with the help of the arrow function that which function represent the which functions. So, this is a all we can do with the, now we can insert the ellipse, we can insert the arrows or the line. So, suppose I want to insert the ellipse, so this is the ellipse I am getting or maybe I can insert the circle here, later on we want to insert. So, and this is the views that maybe I can insert axis. So, axis I have already inserted here, but if suppose we forget to insert then later on we can insert this axis here. Maybe I can insert a rectangle. So, this is a rectangle or maybe I can move this rectangle from here. I can insert the rectangular box like this one or maybe I can insert the, so this one we can play with this plot. Once we are done with the plot, then we can even make the changes, we can play with this plot and we want, we can change it, whatever the changes we wanted to make later on, we can do that one. <coughs> and then we can minimize this function and I from here I can delete this one. And now I can see that what are the variables. So, all the variables today we are dealt with is the symbolic computation, is the symbolic computation and I can even clear my screen and I can clear all the variables. 
so that is gone. So this is uh, uh, all about the symbolic computation. This is the basic about the symbolic computation that we can do with the help of the MATLAB. So in the next lecture, we will go little further uh, with the basics of MATLAB. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much. Thank you.